Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. As I promised, I cleaned out the battlefields. Sure took me some time to do it, but shit. Anyway, let's see what's going on at, at, at the Kyrie Temple. There might be something here. Oh, look at that. Why, it's the old man. Hello, old man. Captain Mac will tell you about the prophecy. He cuts, cut and dry. He's cut and dry to the point, isn't he? Well, yeah. We learn that Captain Mac is who we're looking for while we're in this area, and. I'd like to say, how does this work again? It does it. Well, damn. So where does the warp take us? Well, we don't have the mark for it, so. I guess we'll never know where that warp is going to take us. Huh. So, since there's nothing going on in Temple, we just got word of the elusive Captain Mag must tell us what we're going to tell us about the prophecy. So, um, let's go to Windia. Get over here! Norma? Have I seen her? No, who's she? <laughs> Chocobo. Well, uh, I see where we're going to. Hello, sir. Excuse me, are you auto? Later, later. Huh? My daughter Norma went up to the tower up north using my rainbow road. But the powerful wind from Mount Gaia broke the road making machine. Norma stuck until Norma stuck there until the winds died down. Izzy, let's keep going. The wind, the crystal wind might be in that mountain. No wonder the wind is, no wonder that hawk is talking. Well, let's go to the end because I need to rest and buy a few things. Oh yeah, some cure post would be nice. About to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. That works. I like a lot of cure potions. Yeah, I'll stay because I need to heal. So we get some heal potions. I mean cure potions, not heal potions. But I got myself some cure potions and heal potions, so... I'm really, really stocked up quite good. Oh yeah, about the Dragon Claw. Damn right critical everybody. Or damn near, damn near one shot kill them. It's all one hit. One hit knockout. That's all it is. <laughs> Cute. One moment. You just can't play in the wind. Of course, it's too windy out here. I love climbing up on the roof, but in this wind, no way. Really? Too bad we can't go there. Oh well. But yes, the Dragon Claw can one shot kill every any enemy any enemy I see fit to kill. So yeah, I'm going to be using this bad boy very, 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 very soon. Otto built the tower up north, but Pazuzu invaded it. So it's now Pazuzu's tower, right? It's no longer, it's no longer Otto's tower, it's Pazuzu's tower. Eh, nah, see, I see the joke, I see the joke. So that's what's going on over there.
Well, me and my trusty Dragon Claw will take care of this. Onward for Great Justice Spartans! The Windhold Temple. <laughs> and Mount Gale. So now that we have permission, we have to go to Mount Gale. Let's check out the Windhold Temple first. Oh, I see something that should be interesting to get. Some heal potions. Wonderful. Because you can never go wrong with having... You can never go wrong with having more heal potions. So as you can see, yeah, I got a lot of heal potion, cure potions. <laughs> I sure wish they sold seeds too, because man, that'd be great right about now. Onward to Mount Gale. Wow, why does it, why does this remind me of the first area of the game? What can I? No, I can't jump over them. Okay. So we're facing these enemies known as the vampires and the water hag. These are the enemies I faced during my grinding session. So one thing I'm going to do is one shot them. I love that. I love that dragon claw. You do that, I'm going to one-shot you, sir. For I will the power of the claw! The claw! Oh, you. How sad you must die. See, one hit kill. When it connects. And you shall give me a wishbone, bitch. Give me a wishbone. Really? Do you still want that, sir? For most part, it does one hit kill any any enemy on screen when it actually connects. Like so. See? One hit kill! Yeah, I think for the interest of fairness, you best back off, sir. I like Mount Gale because, once again, it is so straightforward. Mm. 
Not much to say, except this place is pretty damn easy. Especially when coming up here. <laughs> Just slashing everybody in the midst of my destruction. seem much of a intro introductory RPG. I mean, I would love to see just enemies just stand right there. And just stand there as obstacles waiting to be knocked over. See, when it's a critical hit, it's just an instant kill. So many paths to take, and yet I'm taking the most simplest of, a, of approach. Just because I'm just here, and you're over there. I love my Dragon Claw. I fucking love my Dragon Claw. Really, sir? You must die now, sir. And you, sir... So you're the one who's drained the Crystal Wind's power! Nah, it's Pazuzu! But you'll never meet him! Oh, but we're still gonna take your ass out. Mr. Dullahan. Head a ring. You know, I'm all for getting, you know, a blowjob every so often. But really, no. This is not how I want that. I mean, seriously. You hit too hard. Stop it. I will have to literally scrape you, sir. Scrape you, claw you, whatever you like to call it. I'm scraping you to death. I'm clawing you to death, sir. Oh, 
Okay, sir. You've asked for it. I'm gonna have to throw down on your ass. Oh, that's not all. I got some white for you, sir. I said I have some white for you, sir. And taste some thunder. I can't see how you can actually attack me and hold your head at the same exact time. You, sir, are a mystery. Okay. Look, you bastard. That's not gonna work, you know. Now sit your ass down and drink your goddamn tea, you bastard. I love how my character is so oblivious to what's really going on here. However, the real Izzy is not as oblivious as the character Izzy. So I think we've taken care of Mount Gale, which was pretty damn easy. But at least we know Pazuzu is behind all this madness that is going on. Because, well, we can advance in the story without actually going to another area. <laughs> so, we're leaving this place because, really, we done taken care of bigger than in, in, in this. Yeah, we took care of business in the most asinine, quickest way possible. One shot kill everything. Interesting note about the Dragon Claw. When you use it, and when you use it in in tune with a magic spell, it extraordinarily makes your magic stronger. And I certainly enjoy that. Come on. Keep going. You know, sometimes I hate my automatic updates. Especially how they tend to slow down the recording a bit. They do. They, I mean, that's what it is I just don't really like about 
about having a spurs it slows down whatever you're doing online so you know what I'm getting out of here and since seeing that I had taken care of things at Mount Gale Hopefully that will grant me passage to go to, and no, it doesn't. Yeah, you keep asking me that. No, I don't know where she is. Yes, I'll take it. And that got me a Cupid locket. See, it's always good to buy stuff when you're actually in the area. No, I have enough explosives. Thank you. Yeah, see, I got enough explosives. Like, 98 explosives! Which I will never, ever have to use! Just because... I have taken care of things, and just because... That's how I roll. Anyway, let's go back to Otto. Oh yes, I like some seeds. I'd like to take 51 with me, thank you. Let's see, do you have any information, sir? Mobius Crest is buried in Spencer's place. If we had, if we had it, we could reach the ship dock from here. To look for the elusive Captain Mac. First name Mac, last name McDonald's. But seeing as we have taken care of things and all is quiet here in Windia, let's go back and talk to Otto again. The wind has suddenly stopped. I'll try make. I'll try to make the Rainbow Road. After ten minutes later, it worked. Otto, we're going to say Norma and the crystal. Wait. In the tile, you'll see switches on even number floors. Freak the switches with your axe. Then the then the elevator won't go past that floor. Alright then, so since we have taken care of business here, I'm gonna make a good save and right here. And here. And even here. So there's no way in the world I can actually lose at this point. So, once again, I'm gonna make a stop here and in the next part we're gonna take on the next area, which happens to be Pazuzu's Tower. So stay tuned. More Final Fantasy Mystic Quest right after this.